Are you scared? <laughs> yeah, but a little music, Russ. Get my little tiff ruin the mood. Oh, come on, old boy. Give it a shake, will ya? <laughs> Precisely what I'm doing, old chum. Precisely. Hey, when was the last time we saw any signs of life? About 10 miles back, I'd say. Not a single house. Hey, where are you taking us, Russ? Hey, wasn't my idea. What do you see out there, Lori? What'd you say? What? I saw someone in the woods. <laughs> Stop messing, you had me. Mr. Dean Lawrence, he was right out there in the woods. He asked me if he could be my plus one to tonight's <laughs> private engagement. You don't mind, do you? Very funny. You know, I would laugh if your acting had any ballast to it whatsoever. If it didn't, why did you say I had you? I can confirm what Lori's saying. It wasn't my fault. I saw something and I swerved around. I think it was her mystery man trying to hit your eyes. Are you sure you can see out of that mask? I told you so already, Maddie. I didn't get us this far driving blind. I saw something in the road and I swerved around. I swear. Under oath. <laughs> you know, if our family's quack operation ever falls by the wayside, I'll save us all by becoming a stunt driver for the pictures. <laughs> You're safe with me, darling. Ha ha, Wes. I'm gonna take that laugh as a genuine one. Why don't you come over here? If you're not careful, we're gonna ship you to Cuba. Oh, did you guys hear that? Doesn't Madeline say the darndest things? Isn't she a gas? <laughs> we could just take these off, you know? Of course, of course we could. But then how would we get our kicks? We gotta get in the spirit of the night! Maybe it's not so bad there. Maybe you fit right in. Especially now that the missile crisis is over. Are you a sympathizer, Maddie? You want me to turn you in? We got a commie! We got a commie! Are you a fink? Oh, you're trying to make me crash. No, no, no. Your secret's safe with me. I'm not sure about Dean and Lori, though. We don't even know what you're on about. We almost there. You got ants in your pants, Lori? Maybe I do, Russ. Well, you should get that checked out. Dean, did you know about that? Knock it off, Russ, or I'm gonna be sore all over again. All right, come on, everyone. We're just a little gassed up for our weekend. Dean is right. Let's all just have a blast. Quaint cottage on a Halloween night in the middle of the woods. <laughs> no sweat. You're going to send this car straight to the boneyard, Russ. Besides, you know we could never use any of our family's properties up here. First, the cleaning staff talks, then the cooks, then the groundskeeper, chauffeurs, and security detail. And the next thing you know, our business is not so mysteriously linked to the supermarket tabloids. Or worse yet, to our parents. Without being able to trace back and reprimand who started the wildfire. <laughs> no, this is perfectly off the radar, so to speak. Oh, so whose place are we going to? Oh, if you all don't take a chill pill, I'm gonna slip something into your drinks. Get the old St. Barb's family recipe. That Marilyn Monroe special exit. Oof. Too soon, old boy, too soon, unreal. Hey, you know, how would that play out? We're already on our families enough as it is. Heirs of the company follow in Monroe's footsteps. My mom is Deborah Kerr in the opening scene of The Innocents every night before bed, on her knees, prayer hands. All I want to do is love the children, not destroy them. More than anything, I love the children. More than anything, they need affection, love. Someone who will belong to them and to whom they will belong. How many times did you go see that, Lori? Enough. I'll say. I could barely get through it once. It was so scary. I think I was watching the inside of my hands covering my eyes through most of it. Yeah, I think all our parents have that worry about right now. Why did you call them that anyway, Russ? St. Barb? Perpetuate? I don't know, some no-name board member was annoying me with some story how it got its name from the Feast of St. Barbara or something. Kind of catchy, though. Oh, no-name board member? Our parents would bury us and dig us up again every week out of spite <laughs> if we went out like that. They couldn't handle the PR mess it would cause. They would drown me in lawsuits in heaven. Well, I'm glad to know they wouldn't take the time to weep for us first. It would be all boardroom meetings and quarterly figures. We all know it was the Kennedys, anyway. We're back to Maryland. Yeah, how about we don't take her exit? Or just one Kennedy. <laughs> or that. Either way, the heat will be off our family soon. 
It was a prescription bottle, and it didn't say to take that much. I guarantee you. It was the old Kennedy curse. <laughs> Kennedy curse? What's that? I don't know. Maybe I just made it up. Now who says the darndest things? <laughs> According to our parents, the only way that any of us should go on living is married with kids. Ah, uh, yes. I am a walking cobweb, according to my mother. Yeah. What's wrong with us, anyway? We should have at least a half dozen little fries running around by now. Oh, come on. What's the point of us being where we are with our access if we don't push back against the norms that help the amount? Healthy. Here, here. The man hath made a point, and it's a mighty fine one. And I'll hear no more of it in this court of law. That's where I'll be talking to my parents next if I don't get the show on the road. They're going to legally change my middle name to Cobweb Dash Spinster. Yeah, Ross, get the show on the road. Huh? <laughs> Russ? Russ? Guys, what on earth? Hey, Ru Russ! Wake up! Russ! Wake up, man. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Ah. Russ, no one is laughing. I thought you were really hurt. Ah. Laying rubber like that, this car is toast. <laughs> Come on. Come on, it's a little scare on a Halloween night. Exactly what we needed. You okay back there, Dean? Lori? Ha ha, Russ. Yeah, you really got us good. I was just doing my best impression of a dead man. And now that we have a proper heart attack, I believe my dear friend Russ here is going to get us to the cottage safely and without interruption now, isn't that right? Sure. But you know, I think it was Lori's mystery man that stepped out right in front of me. Am I the only one that saw that? Give it a rest, Russ. You got us. You win. Okay. Okay. But you all can never take away how badly I got you all. Oh, I can't wait to tell everyone. <laughs> Uh, you, you guys, uh, you guys good back there? Hanging on. Barely. Uh, so we, uh, we sure Johnny said it was okay if we used his cottage? Johnny? Oh, uh, why didn't Annette ride with us? I think she had plans, but she's going to join us later. What kind of plans? She had to convince a certain gentleman to join us this evening, and apparently he needed a little extra coax. Mm -hmm. That's all well and dandy, but how about the cottage? Let's ask Lori. Lori? Maddie said it was you who made these plans for us. He says nobody comes up here this time of year. We've got the whole place to ourselves. The party is already well underway. We are fashionably late. You see? Off the radar. Lori? Yes, Mr. Russell? Lay it on me. You fresh with Johnny? Tune him out, Lori. No, I'm just looking out for a friend. Even if I said no, would you believe me, Russ? You ask the question in such a way that I look guilty no matter what I say. Isn't that so? Your turn. My turn. Uh, I don't really know what you mean, but, um, our father, who art in heaven, <laughs> all of you that thy kingdom come, thy will be done, mm. on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Uh, are, you, are you serious? Who's the commie now? Okay. <laughs> For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Should we recite the national anthem next? I found that pleasant. Unexpected, certainly, but... Pleasant, nonetheless. And 
If you aren't a good citizen, as deemed by a constantly changing construct with no real conviction or nailed down definition, well then, you see, we will um, maroon you on a deserted island where you'll be forced to sew the president's clothing with only the tiniest little needles known to mankind as a life sentence until your dying breath. Mm -hmm. ah, ooh, now this, this is a first. This is an exclusive. Uncle Sam will pay you a visit. Cry you from your mother's arms if need be. So um, be a good little citizen <laughs> and do what we tell you to do. Uh, rather, think what we think you should think, <laughs> even if it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, especially if it doesn't make sense. Especially when there's no redeemable purpose or tangible agreed upon collective plan. Just poverty of the spirit, poverty of the imagination. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Be sure to report on your neighbors. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is good for the soul. My boy here is a scholar and a pastor. He's gonna write the next great American novel, I think. Perfect timing. Oh, look. Oh, look at this place. It's perfect. Thank you, Johnny. Or should I say Lord? You should stop talking. <laughs> Suck it to me, Johnny. I'm a cool head. Apparently, we are the only ones who drove. Everybody else is local. Uh, you sure Johnny's not going to be here? I genuinely don't know, Russ, and we will find out soon enough. <laughs> Go! Uh, we oh. should... I'm sure, somewhere deep down, somewhere so unknowable and ponderous. Russ has as well. Have you always wanted to be a prune, Russ? What? A prune. That sounds like some new jive I'm unfamiliar with, but uh, given the choice, I guess I'd be a watermelon. A what? <laughs> Why anything? Uh, fair point. <laughs> Never you mind, darling. Wish I could take a picture of the two of you right now. Why don't you then? No, I would, but I don't know where I put the camera. Besides, we must assemble in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Dearest Maddie and Lori, your presence has been officially requested. We are being summoned. We must come when we're called. <laughs> Just what the bartender At the two of you. What's a couple of beauties like you doing this far up in the country? Ravishing. <laughs> Someone say a toast so I can down this drink and immediately get to drinking another. <laughs> all right. Hey, to Halloween, to all of you, to our families, to us as the company's future, to... And majority shareholders. Here we are. <laughs> well, that too. And until then, keeping our feet firmly on the ground. Oh. And, uh, to one ghoulish night. <laughs> yes. I don't know about you, old boy, but I'm trying to blast off and be the first man on the moon. <laughs> but first, 
Let's get a bit off supply. Cheers. Yep, he's gonna win the race. I thought there wasn't one. Then why are we all in it? <laughs> I need another. I need another. Absolutely. My king. Oh, right. Oh, here. Um, I made it myself. I guess what? Thanks. It's going straight to all of your kids. Gladly, uh, that looks incredible. Yes, fatten me Thank up you. and... Lori, you could serve that at the palm court. Very <laughs> fancy, Lori. I, I guess you're not going to eat with your fingers. A little bite of triangles. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, first try. Oh, bon appetit. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Halloween cake. You know, it's unexpected, but a nice touch. So sharp. Glistens in the light. Cuts right to the cake. Guys, do we even know anyone here? Good question. Not a soul. Not a soul. Mm, yes. And in Isn't that what we ordered up this evening? Although I hope they're aware we're the ones brought in here. Oh, they know. Thank you. <laughs> You have lifelong customers in us all. This whole one take away is not going to last long. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's get the stuff in the car. Mm. <laughs> all right, we know we should. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, that happened to you, go boy. Brilliant idea, you two. I'm sure it's solely because of the two of you that we'll be vacationing in Havana next year. Mm -hmm. Good one, Lori. Good one. <sighs> Hey, I'm just trying to help a friend. You know, set up a move. Girls love that. You know, we did hold hands in the back seat for a second, and uh, I think she's staring at me. Uh, you see, progress, boy, <laughs> you're up to here. And Johnny is uh, nowhere to be found. You can thank me later. <laughs> you gentlemen need any help? Are you spying on us, Matt? I would never. Hmm. A couple of tough guys like us need help. From whom? I'll leave the door open for you. How's that? <laughs> Look who's spying now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Maddie and Laurie, look at you two, posing like pinups, ready for your debut, Society's Argento. Did you hear that? Huh? Thank you. Hear what? I think I heard the car doors outside. No, 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 no. Don't tell me you're blitzed already. No, I heard the car doors being shut outside. You sure? Nice try, Lori. What? Yeah, what? She's clearly trying to get back at me for the stunt I pulled earlier. Uh. No, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. What's the next part of your prank, huh? <laughs> it's not funny. Uh, okay. I'll go check. Don't 
fall for it, chum. <clears throat> Maybe Laura should go with him. We are all going. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go first. My man has a mean right hook, stronger than Cassius Clay's. <laughs> <laughs> The front door is open, but the car seems to be fine. <coughs> you heard the doors close? Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, I know you're pulling my leg now because I definitely locked it, didn't I, Dean? See, nothing to worry about. Come on. for God knows how long now. <laughs> well, hello, by the way. <laughs> Who dropped you off? Don't be nosy, Rush. Oh, I, I want to know too. I'm going to leave you all to wonder. Ah, in the spirit of the night. <laughs> Building the mystery. <laughs> Can we talk about this costume? <laughs> yes, please explain yourself. No, that isn't amazing. Yes, with you looking not amazing, I can't wear this. Oh, agreed. <laughs> well, there go the masks. <laughs> This costume? As you know, after singing to the president, I found myself too overwhelmed. But you know, nothing was the same after that. I called John Bobby, and they stopped inviting me around, you see. <laughs> I sent juicy letters signed in red lipstick kisses, mm -hmm. and sprayed with their favorite perfume, my perspiration. Oh. <laughs> If you can believe it, someone told me my real name is Norma Jean! <laughs> <laughs> oh. A drink? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> what is this? Gooch from your jailbird days? I was in a pinch. Speaking of a pinch, how about we make a punch? That is a fantastic idea, Lori. Is it? Yeah, why not? Everyone, we have an announcement. We're going to play one round of hide and go seek. Loser has to sleep in the car. Who's going to go? I vote Dean. Me? I what second me? that. I uh, second that. <laughs> All right, it's me, fine. One condition, you either have to hide inside, if you're so daring, or within 10 feet of the cottage. Otherwise, I may be searching until summer. Agreed? Believe me, old scholar boy here will get out the measuring stick if he has to. <laughs> hey, don't avoid the question. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. And how about this spot over here for counting? Seems as good as any. All right, I mean, you know, it doesn't matter regardless. I can't even see outside, look at it. Well, it's not like anybody's gonna hide in here. Count to 40, starting now. <laughs> I hope you don't lose count. Come find me, okay? You know, Lori, when I go home. Take credit for thinking ahead, but this is dumb luck.
Clever Dean. You like him, don't you? I mean, I'm asking, but it's obvious. No, right? Why has it never happened? Tony. I thought that was finally over. It finally is. Well, till then is your night then. Wait, this is Johnny's place. <laughs> How about we don't tell Johnny that Dean's up here? Also, I somehow convinced him to let us use the place without actually inviting him. How oh, scandalous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, what else? Whatever it is, tell me. I can't say. We've known each other since we were babies. You can tell me. I mean, you already know, don't you? Please say you do, so I don't have to say it out loud. I wish I could read your mind, but I don't know, Lauren. I'm sorry. There's always been rumors, you know? But everybody's always hushed it up. Dean and I have always been fond of each other, you know? It, it's nothing, I'm sorry. It's nothing. Whatever it is, I'm here. Besides, ugh, I'm not gonna say anything. When do I ever see Johnny or care enough about him to mention his name to other people? Yeah. I mean, that's perfect. Thank you. As long as it doesn't leave your lips that Dean's up here and then clear. I don't think I'm the one you need to worry about, though. Hey, by the end of the night, I will swear everyone to see Chrissy. Just watch. Even Dean. <laughs> I guess you got me there. We haven't moved a muscle. We are terrible at this game. Are we staying here? You tell me. No, you know what? I'm going over here. It's dark. Forty. But you're not here, I come. close. All right. Call me a poor sport, but here's what's going to happen. I'm going to search for three minutes, 
And if I don't find anyone, you all lose from watching you out. Now, how's that sound? <laughs> well, you're welcome, Sight. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I need to ask you something. Uh, yeah. Surely, what is it, Lori? What? Anything. No, honest to God, Lori. Are you okay with this? Be because if you are, then... I'm okay with it too, but if you're not, then I don't know. <laughs> Is what okay? What's okay with you? <laughs> I apologize, Lloyd, but um, you caught me off guard here. We share the same great-great-grandparents. <sighs> Is that okay with you? Is that what's been bothering you? Is that why you've been avoiding me the last few weeks? <sighs> uh, while we're at it, I have a question for you too. Johnny. Yeah. Okay, here's the truth of it. We've been done for a while now, and he doesn't want to let it go. Or for anyone else to know that it's over between us, for that matter. Um, you know, where there's an ending, there's also a beginning. <laughs> Alright everyone, game over, I found Lori. I give up. Okay, that's that. <laughs> Didn't they say game over? Game over? Yeah. Not for us. Hey. <laughs> Lori lost. Might have been voluntarily, even. Really? Is that why she ran up to me? I guess I have to sleep alone in the car tonight. Yeah, but, well, I could keep you company. At, at least until you fall asleep, if you wanted. Oh, you would do that? You don't have to be coy around me. Yeah, <laughs> sure would. That would be great. Shall we? Yeah. Uh, what about the lovebirds? What about them? Mm. Let's give them a few. They'll come in on their own time. We're going inside. See you soon, lovebirds. <sighs> drinks? Drinks? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, that'd be great. Thanks for that. You know, I could stay even after you fall asleep, if that's okay. I might not sleep at all. Hmm. I've known you since you were five years old. Are you getting sentimental right now? I suppose I am. <laughs> Russ when he was five. So mischievous, yet so boisterous and charming. You know when I pushed you down, it was because I liked you. Oh, I knew I had those bruises on my knees for a good reason. What? Sorry, I thought I heard something. Are you trying to scare me yet again, Russ? No, not this time. Although, as you're well aware, I can't allow myself to be bested by a net, so I wouldn't rule it out as a future possibility. <laughs> you are never gonna let that go. I'll never let you go. Very smooth, Russ. 
I don't know why I just thought of this, but you know what I saw when we got here? What? A shooting star. It was right when we were getting out of the car and I was walking up to the front door. Wow. Well, how was it? It was beautiful, but I didn't say anything to anyone. Isn't that strange? You're gonna beat yourself up about a shooting star. <laughs> Maybe it was made just for you. What made you think of it? Just popped into my head. Isn't that silly? <laughs> it was bold, bright, beautiful, and it streaked across the black milky sky like an illuminated crayon. Like this. <laughs> and I don't know. It made me feel like a kid again. Five years old, perhaps. Perhaps. Well, did you wish on me? You know, wish upon a star. Can't see why it can't be a shooting one. I didn't. Well, maybe that's why it made its way back to you. An <laughs> unfinished business. And? Well, I can't tell you. No? Why, then it won't come true. Everyone knows that. Mm. Thought you might make an exception. Seven years. Seven years. That's how long I have to wait. Seven years. That's a long time. Did it seem like it was that long ago that we were five years old and your way of showing me that you liked me was by pushing me down next to your <laughs> favorite slide on the playground? Seems like only yesterday. And you had to bring my favorite slide <laughs> into this. Well, you see, time is like that shooting star. Seven years will pass by before we even have the time to say. A smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. <laughs> you come up with this stuff. I'm just Madeline Green, and all I can be is me. Hmm. And of course I had to bring your favorite slide into this. I consider you asking me to go down it with you to be our official first date. Oh uh, yes, our first <laughs> date. Paid for by the donations of a bunch of well-to-do, wealthy families. I wonder if we ever remember to thank them. Somehow I don't feel bad. You know, uh, earlier in the car on the way up here, I'm sorry for being such a drag. It's actually nice. Everyone seems to be having a good time. And that's all that matters. And it's a welcome getaway from our usual routines. Yeah, it's, uh, different in a good way. Well, I try and find it in myself to forgive you. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> <laughs> That you in it? But the plan was to scare them, not me. Who are you? One of Johnny's friends? Way to make the costume real. Plastic knife? And the camera? What are you supposed to be? Some knockoff peeping Tom Mark Lewis? Oh, great. You shouldn't have said anything at all. What would you ever say? Come on, Sonny. Vegas famous. How about. Come on, Sonny. Had too much to drink. Seems more accurate. Leave it to them to plan an event like that the day after Halloween. Oh, oh, this is strong. Uh, no punch? <laughs> the strangers got to it. Really? All of it? I got the last of it. You want me to say something? Uh, no need. I checked and we won't be running out of the good stuff anytime soon. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 
Party's officially begun. <laughs> um, what about Truth or Dare? You have all the games tonight. Well, I'm a big fan of fun. Fun, ew. We never get along. Okay. Truth or Dare, Lori? Truth, but only because I don't want to get up. Hmm. Right? I'm feeling really tired all of a sudden. It is a bit of a journey to get up here, isn't it? I didn't say anything, but I saw the lovebirds sneak into the bedroom. <laughs> oh, sneaky. Let them have their fun. Oh. Well, then who's this? Hmm, I don't know. You can't get us twice. What? Oh, the person who dropped you off. Uh-huh. Oh, I confess. I admit it. I can't keep a secret. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, should we welcome him? Or better yet, scare him. Ah, uh, yes. Hey, back. <laughs> <laughs> to who? To you, of course, but, you know, indirectly. Let's, uh, would you like one? Glenn. Glenn, this is Dean and Lori, our other friends Russ and Madeline, we call him Maddie, around here, somewhere. Yeah, okay, drinks. Whew. Uh, dinner bell right here, do I need another drink? Oh, you too. Oh, we're on to this, eh? Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, my name's Maddie, and that's Russ. Mm. Glad you could make it. Oh, we forgot about our drinks. Maddie! We need to do a photo. Huh? Did you pack the camera? Yes. Okay, okay, okay! <laughs> Woo! Uh, I'm gonna go help Russ. Found oh, it! There you are. <laughs> okay, everyone. I know we're all having a grand slam of a time this evening, so I say we all take a group photo. All of us. The more the scarier, as they say. Huh? Mm. Come on. Come on. Get up. <clears throat> hey, comrades. No rest until dawn. We keep going, come on. Come on, come right. on, come on, come on. Picture time? Why not? Gather round, gather round, gather round. <laughs> My good sir, do you know how to work this thing? Oh, what about him? Oh yes, we could uh take a second photo and the next friend could take it. Glenn. Yeah, Glenn, what do you say? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. But first, we need our masks. Uh -huh. We need our yes, masks. Yes, yes, masks. Masks, okay. On the count of three, everyone say Monroe. Ready? One, two, three. Monroe! <laughs> okay, next. Here we go. Glenn, if you will do the honors. You had something planned. Like what? Another big scare. She told him to show up later and not say a single word. Am I right? Oh, oh. oh hey, Lord, Lord. Hey, 
Everything okay? Uh, yeah, it's nothing. Guy problems? <laughs> yeah, of the strangest variety, really. Forget about him. He took the joke too far. Maybe it's better he left. How about another drink? Yeah. Was I right? About what, Russ? That these two had something planned. Uh, yeah, that was it. Were you scared? Oh, I knew it. Oh. I knew it. <laughs> I knew they had something planned. I'm on a roll, baby. They're gonna have to light up Radio City Hall for mm -hmm. me because this is my night. Woo! <laughs> <sighs> How is she? Probably just need some water. Mm. I'm guessing she didn't eat all day either, knowing her. <laughs> well, speaking of which, what time is it anyway? Uh, after midnight, presumably. Okay. Guys, could you watch her a minute? My uh, camera's in the car. I totally forgot I wanted to get some footage of us while we're here, so I'll just be one minute. Take your time, Dean. We've got her. Yes, yeah. okay. Thanks. Boy. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> the night is young. Come on, <laughs> we gotta get it going. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, do the trick. Aren't I a sight for sore eyes? Mm. Maybe we're all ready for bed. I'm sure we'll be on the same page soon enough. We could wake up early and go for a nice walk. How's that sound? Right now? Awful. <laughs> What happened to the kitchen knife? Kitchen knife? Men wanted you. Women wanted to be you. They wanted to be desired. They wanted the fame and the riches, the physique. Some wanted it all. Like Tony Curtis and Jack Lemon, dressing in drag and some like it hot. <laughs> But all that can't be said aloud. Sometimes silence is best, sometimes less is more. Sometimes we just sit in the darkness alone and no one knows we're there. And if they unknowingly join you, it may be too late for them. And when the light comes, it'll look like you always belong and they won't know the difference anyway. You'll both just carry on like normal. Like a walk in the park. <laughs> Aim for the stars and you might just end up on the moon. <laughs> What's going on to us? I have just experienced the most wonderful thing all of creation. They said it couldn't be done, but they put a man on the moon. <laughs> I'm going to have to hear all about this greatest thing in creation and man on the moon when I get back. Hey, maybe I'll even film your description, yeah? Hey, now you're thinking. You see, sis, he's got all the best ideas. You know, that's why he gets my approval. I can overlook the fact he's our blurry cousin. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! We gotta get some fresh air. We're all going outside for a walk. I won't take no for an answer! Yeah, okay, okay, you. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you want my keys? Oh, you're a thief, huh? <laughs> all right, yeah, we need some fresh air. If they're there when we get back, then we know who the real thieves are. Ah! <laughs> Ooh! We're going on a walk! We're going on a long walk! No, we're not. Yes, we are. Yes, we are! Nice night. See? All right. You win. 
Mm. Why don't we just call it a leisurely night stroll and see how far we get? <laughs> what a name. An open-ended approach with absolutely no end in sight. Mm. I think there'll just be a uh, synergetic energy and we'll know to turn around. Mm -hmm. I might just turn around if I get cold. Mm. More importantly, that. What if no one else is cold? Uh, if one of us is cold, then we're all cold. Here, here. <laughs> a drowning man may grasp but a straw. And he still won't float now, will he? Mm. Good thing I can swim like a fish. Oh, and you can <laughs> breathe underwater? <laughs> Got me there, brother. <laughs> you can drink like a fish, that we know. <laughs> young, I remember going to the pictures for the first time, and they kicked me out because I'd snuck in. But what they didn't know is that I had already seen enough. The seed had been planted. Catherine Hepburn in that shiny dress. I had never seen anything like it. Never seen life portrayed in such a way that it was grander than itself. Luring men on and on into their eternal destruction. That's what they said in one of her breakout roles in the movie Niagara. And they were partly telling the truth. It wasn't their destruction, it was their salvation. Passions that can sweep a man to the top of the world. A raging torrent of emotions that not even nature can control. Six, darling. 
one of your six super fans. And I never let you down. More importantly, you never let me down. But they did. And now, look at them. <laughs> I think that was the silent moment of understanding. <laughs> Russ was right. A little bit of fresh air was just what we needed. <laughs> All that's left for the evening is a song and dance number. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Oh, surely, as long as it's performed by you and only you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna do me that honor. Now, I, I don't wanna boast, but I'd outshine you all anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, because you know all the Fred Astaire steps, don't you, Russ? <laughs> is that person pounding on the door? Oh, whatever here. The marathon of scares continues. Uh, don't worry, we'll save you. Run, 
don't have my keys. We just have to go, we just have to run. We have to win the match! We'll keep going, bro. Come on, that's our chance! We have to win! Come on! Come on! We just have to go. <laughs> we'll get help. We'll get help. Hey, remember? We checked the whole place. She wasn't in there, Lori. You promise you, you promise that you didn't see her. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The um the, there was a girl in the back room and it wasn't in that there was there's no one in the bathroom, no one in the hallway. There's, there's two people in the bedroom. She wasn't in the kitchen or the living room either. Well, well, that that's that's the whole place. So, so she must have gotten away. She got away, Lori. Okay, okay. So she got away. That's right. She got away. So that means she's out here somewhere. Okay, everyone. It's all over now, isn't it? I would have chased them into the woods, but you see, I like a captive audience. When you buy a ticket to the movie, you don't have to chase the picture to watch it now, do you? Everything has been assembled for you in one comfortable place. You just sit there on the front row in the dark. Oh, once you've seen it over 30 times, you sit in the very, very back, watching the others watch the movie. And they don't notice, even when you get closer and closer to them as the movie progresses. When you position yourself to watch their faces light up at the lavish sets. Their laughs at the clever quips, their tears when tragedy strikes or romance flares, their awes at the culminating requited love. The claps as the grand timpani roll carries us to the credits. But the credits always come, don't they, my loves? I know this has been difficult for you all, but now, now you can truly understand. Yes, hello? Is anyone there? Please, please, we're all alone here in the woods and no one will come help us. What has this world come to? You need to get here right now. Where are you? You'll be hearing from our lawyers, our authorities, our handlers and fixers. Someone really important is gonna be calling you. Do you know who we are? You'll regret this. You'll never have another night's rest again if you don't get here in this instant. I don't care how scary it sounds. Cowards die many times before their death. <laughs> hey, why do we have to do it like this? Old sketchy. Well, every situation is a little different. Plus, you know these families. Well, uh, I'm glad you called. Well, I'm glad you picked up. 
You know, there were plenty others I could have called before I called you. I, I know. I know. Thank you. Yeah. So, we're not going to one of their houses? No. Just a corral and a sorts. Okay. You good? Yeah. Y yeah, I'm good. You should act the part if you don't look good to me. Not the feeling you're giving off. I'm, I'm good, though. I, I was just, I was just rushed is all. Hey, I was looking for excuses. I'd ask for them. All right? Just relax. So, um, what'd you do for Halloween last night? I'm always on the clock. I was, um, I was gonna go to a party, but, uh, then I, I just, I didn't. So you're gonna go to a party, but you didn't. Uh, speak up if you have any more tantalizing tales to tell. I'm all ears. Hey, how is it you're in this position anyway? I mean, how'd you get here so fast? Well, son, if what you mean by this position, me being your superior, professionally speaking, that is, there's a pathway in this life made possible by those I think so. I mean, your dad was the police chief. Well, there's your answer then. I've been working with this family for six years. Built trust. How old are you? I'm 21. Well, that's close to the same age I was when I was in your position. Someone was in mine. Showing me the way, vouching for me, opening doors for me. And they don't know that I picked you up and took you along the way today. Wait, but you said I... No, 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 no. I'm telling you. I'm going to vouch for you. It's all going to be sorted, right? Also, they told me that whatever we find here, if it breathes even the faintest air of scandal, they don't want the mess on their hands. They don't want their family names or companies attached. We are here just looking for our vibe. Anything else that we find is not our concern. And if we find anything that involves our vibe, try to make it not involve them. Do you understand? Hey, I need you to say yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, I get it, I get it. Okay. All right, now they're late for whatever Rockefeller event this is. And we were sent up here to fetch them, not just sitting here and take the scenery. All right? Let's go. We should call this in. Listen, these families don't have to worry about doing things by the book because they're the ones that write them. Just something you're gonna have to get used to. I'd even advise you to come to like it some. To sleep better. When they write the book. Who's there to tell them what's right or isn't? Not me. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna go check this whole place out and go see what we're working with, all right? You stay behind me, okay?
When you're clear, though, not then. Hey, you holding up? Right. Nothing in here. We're clear. Now we should call it in. It appears so. Who's so anonymously? Say as little as possible. Would you, would you want me to? I mean, unless you want all those that are fully expired to continue sitting there. And I could tell everyone that you just sat there and gawked at me and didn't do a damn thing. Yeah, I suggest you get to it. They thought they were headed out last night, but I knew where they were going. Maybe this wasn't their last stop. There you are. You're on the way. Uh, good job, good job. Not the proper channels are on the way. But I want to tell you one more thing. Go ahead, take a look in the trunk. Go on, get in there. Don't be shy, come on. Don't be shy, get in there. Take a look. I know it's just... Some rags, a car jack. Keep looking. Keep looking. What do you see? A camera. I found it by the door outside. What does that mean? I don't know. It could mean anything. It's evidence. Maybe. Maybe the killer was caught on here. Well, there's your answer then. What? <laughs> oh, look, there's another one. Go get it. No, oh, Marilyn. Hmm. I told you, just follow my lead. Like Marilyn Monroe once said, it's all make-believe, isn't it? Hey, Ray. 
when he sleeps in some old instrument or groaning, come moaning, moaning. He's him, I dare you. You never know when he is near until he whispers in your ear, I'll I get you. Be glad I met you. Don't let him scare you. All the ghosts are melancholy. Follow me, I'll make you jolly. I'm the ghost. 